All right, this is how to turn on and off your uh, TV cable box using one remote. Hit the system power button right here. It sends a power signal to all those devices that are blinking. All right, make sure you're aiming there the whole time. All right, so that turns it off. To turn everything back on, make sure you're aiming the remote and the infrared sensor is able to see the devices. I'll send on signal to cable box, TV, VCR, DVD, surround sound, auxiliary, all that good stuff. All right. So right now you're on the wrong input. So what you want to do is hit TV and then video source and then hit video source again and video source again and then it should automatically toggle there. And if it gets if it's on that screen you can just take the motion remote and then hit um, the center button select cable box beautiful and okay um, and then get the best of me. And now if I you want to go back to blu-ray just go click on home button dark and scary path with my eating disorder, click on the input button on the bottom left and then on the right it says cable box I labeled it close to death. eighth grade and a time when you should be preparing and just click on this one and that's your blu-ray player friends and here I was battling this all right I have a feeling we should keep the old one <laughs> there you go you can pause it play if you want to go back hit the home button input Cable Someone box. Spare them going through what I've had okay. to go through. And then from this point on, you can just use the cable remote to change your channels, guide, um, pause it, no rewind it. Cable. Pause. Okay. And then play. Channel up. Volume. Okay. Good. And then turn everything off. Hit the system button to turn everything off. All right. Now, if you want the internet, this is what you could do for the internet. Just take this. This is mainly the remote for the internet. And then hit power. Okay. Hopefully, with this video, it'll help you a lot. And then once it turns on, hit the home button. The home button's right here, it says home. And then you could click on the internet. It's actually labeled internet. And then click on Google. And then click on the, the bar, the center bar. Just click once. And then type in cats or whatever you want to type in and click on search and there you go you can sort by images videos so let's click on let's click on videos now these are all videos of cats hmm. and then click on images and these are all images of cats okay and if you click on one it fills the whole screen um, well, it depends how big the format is. If it's if it's 450 by 3, um, 37, then no, because this is a 1080p TV. So you need something that's 1080. Look at those black pads! My goodness. And then to get out of that, hit home button. And then here's your. Uh, Kind of like your uh, shortcuts. These are your apps, like a smartphone to have apps, or iPad or whatever. Uh, so these are shortcuts to like, YouTube and Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff. Net, net, net. Netflix, you have to sign up yes. Netflix.com and put in your credit card information in. Okay. Yeah, and then the settings. You click on settings. I'll adjust your picture and your audio and your clock, and then your pointer. 
and then uh, your internet your internet's already connected so network status and it tells you network status is good it says you are connected which is good and complete so you're good to go there I don't know if I recommend putting your credit card information on here I don't there's no like sec any uh, security like Norton or Advast or any of that so but it, once you uh, plug, once you set up Netflix on your computer, it'll synchronize with your TV. So that's safe to use. Hit input on the bottom left, and then go back to cable box or Blu-ray by hitting the home button and then go to input. But of course, you have to turn on the cable box. And then turn on the cable box is the same old, same old. Just turn on the cable box this way. Hit cable power. That's it. So you don't have to hit this. You don't have to hit the system button because the TV's already on. All right. Now, if you go up to channel 11, yeah, you just hit 11. Now it's available in HD. If it's available in HD, you would have to hit a uh, select button. When you hit the select button, it'll pull up this menu and then go down and hit select again. And it'll switch. Now that's the HD version of that channel. Yeah, so if you're watching standard definition channel and they offer it in HD channel, just hit the select button. So if you're on channel 11, well, channel 11, standard def. Okay? How will you know? So if you hit the select button, when you hit the select button, it'll give you that option. See? And then click down, and it'll automatically toggle to the HD version. That's it. That's how you do it. And then turn everything back off, hit the system button to turn everything off. Okay. When you turn it on, will it come on to that or? You yeah, exactly. When uh, it'll be whatever it remembers whatever input you're on last. So if you're watching DVD last, it'll still be on the DVD input. So that red light means that TV's off, and this light right here indicates that the cable box is on. So let's turn that off. All right. So if, if something's not, uh, if you're having a, like a signal problem, just make sure that light is on, and then this is on you know what I mean so when you turn it on the light goes away I think maybe or I think it goes away that's a standby light yeah it goes away so that's how you know